What's up, this is Steve, and I'm gonna show you the top three automations that can help your business run smoother, but more importantly, help you get your time back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the top three automations in most, most businesses that can help you get your time back quickly. So we're not really gonna waste too much more time. I'm just gonna run through them uh, really quick for you guys. So check it out, okay. So the number one automation that you can use, especially if you're sending invoices or charging, for example, if you're using Stripe or if you're using Square, this is something called a post-purchase automation. What is a post-purchase automation? Let me show you. So, Let's just draw this out real simple for you guys. Post purchase automation. Here's the step that normally happens, right? If somebody agrees to a sale, that's step one. They agree to the sale and then they buy, right? So you typically are gonna send them an invoice. Now, the invoice is gonna come, send invoice, and then they pay. Now, what you can do, instead of waiting for them to pay, and then you having to send out a set of instructions, or somebody on your team having to send out a set of instructions, or maybe you're getting access to certain uh, a software, whatever it is that you do in your service-based business, or even if you have a product, you're gonna automatically have an automation right here. This could be Zapier or Integromat. There's different softwares that could do this. That says, hey, as soon as this person right here pays, send an automation that says, go to step three, Send an email. And that email will have instructions, right? Instructions, so hopefully you guys can read that, right? So now, what does this do? Just by this simple automation, we could send 10 people invoices at the same time, and we know that everybody will get the same set of instructions via email as soon as they complete this action right here. Okay, now, very simple. However, if you don't have this in place, two things can happen. You can forget to send this email or you can send all 10 emails and leave something out of that email because you're relying on human error to copy paste or even type out the same email with the same set of instructions over and over again. That's an old antiquated model. There's no reason to do that if you have this option, right? So this is a post purchase automation. This is a very basic version of that, right? So let's say the first thing that it does is send this email. Or well, we could go a step further and say, now after it sends the email, maybe you also wanted to another automation right here, maybe send a SMS text message, right? So maybe an SMS text message gets sent, okay? Text message will say, hey, make sure you check your email. If you don't see an email, maybe it's in spam or promotions or whatever folder it's in. But this is two checks and balances that happened all because this one initial action right here took place. It triggered this, which then in turn triggered this as a follow-up, and all of these things happen upon one action. That's a post-purchase automation. Now we can go into more detail in the other things that actually can be automated as well within, uh, within this. We can put delays down here to say, hey, you know, let's do another automation. We say delay, which is a follow-up. Okay, let's delay this 48 hours. Then we automate again. And we say, hey, did you get this email? So as the email goes out again, 
So we automate send out a second email that says, hey, did you get the text message and the email that says what you need to do next to make sure that we have everything we need to get you going? Again, post-purchase automation. So just want to show you just this one thing right here also can allow you a lot, a lot of time back. And it's very efficient and it eliminates a lot of errors, okay? So let's move on to the second automation.